outside the 2nd of September. It's Wednesday. It's our last full day here. So you just saw me make the morning muffins. Uh, I will leave this recipe linked for you. I did not put the blueberries in, only because I forgot them. So these are just coconut muffins. They baked quite nicely in the little oven here. I was really surprised. I'm not sure how much you're going to be able to see because of the whoo, crumbly the lighting here. Next time I'll bring a light. Those look really good. They smell like coconut. Very good. This called for four and a half eggs. I only put in three because I don't like things super eggy. I would bump up the sugar on these just a little bit. I'm sure it accounted for having blueberries in it and I didn't have any blueberries. So I would might would bump up the flavor, the sugar, a couple of stevia drops, that kind of thing, just to make it a little bit sweeter if you don't put the blueberries in it. But this is a great basic muffin dough uh, muffin recipe you could add some banana flavoring to this um, some pecans and cinnamon you'd have like a banana nut muffin this is a really good recipe as I told you guys I'm really leaning more and more towards just baking with coconut flour mainly because the texture is so nice it's not crumbly like almond flour it just overall is better to me that, and I'm finding and, and the thing is, that is the whole reason I avoided paleo is because of the coconut flour. And here, a year and a half later, it turns out I just prefer it over almond flour. So there you go. Um, we're not going to have time to get to the coconut flour pancakes in the, in the camper. But um, we'll definitely make them when we get back home. So watch for that coming up. And again, I will leave this link for you in the description box. What are we doing today? We are going to get dressed. We're going to go down to the river. We're going to enjoy some time tubing. We are going to go get some more queso for tacos tonight for dinner and some lettuce. We need some lettuce for dinner. Um, and uh, we're just going to enjoy it and have a nice relaxing day here at the, in the camper and um, just loving this. Rob has not stopped watching camper videos, uh, tours, and he's looking at floor plans and things like that. He's loving this too, and that makes me so, so happy. So, this has just been amazing, absolutely amazing. We've talked about buying this camper, which is for sale. Um, the price might be a little too high on it. We're gonna talk to him about the negoti negotiating and things like that, but honestly, and what we've seen, we feel the price is really high on this one. So I'll leave this one linked for you in the description box if you are interested in it, maybe, I don't know. Um, we're definitely gonna talk to them about it. Uh, they have a couple of different ones there, but uh, this one has some wear. There's a lot of wear, actually. I'm so grateful that Rob's on board. I hope you can hear me. Who knows? the air conditioner that's one thing we want the 15,000 the big mamma jamma air conditioner we want two and we want the whisper quiet that is a need <laughs> what you been up to blowing up a tube there you go are you ready to go tubing a little bit a little, <laughs> a little bit warm up a little yeah bit. it's a little i mean it's not cold outside but it's let the sun get out yeah after yesterday's adventures in the overcast rainy weather i think we'll wait there we go. Now you have one more to go. Thank goodness for your inflatable thing over there. Yes. All right. Woo! Find a place for this. We just picked those up at Brookshire Brothers because every place anywhere in San Marcos and outside of San Marcos were sold out of tubes. I've seen a little bit. He's going to go get us some more queso for dinner tonight. <laughs> well, I took a shower. I didn't run out of hot water. I turned the shower off, soaked up, turned the shower back on, turned it off, you know, just off and on. There's a little knobby thing on the shower head and um, it turns the water off and on. So once you get the right temperature, you don't have to turn it off and on. Oh, new people. Yay. Um, there's no real water pressure in the shower head in this camper. so. 
something I need to pay attention to in the new camper or just replace it. Uh, replace the shower head that comes with it. I know a lot of people do, especially for the amount of hair that I have. I have a lot of hair. Look, new friends. New friends coming. Wonder if they're gonna park right next to us. I hope not, because then they take all the Wi-Fi signal. <laughs> we discovered when the people next door leave, there's been two people next door. When they leave, then um, we get the Wi-Fi signal nice and strong. So we'll definitely need like a repeater or something like that, a Wi-Fi repeater. Come in here, where are you going? Bullet ultralight. No? No, he's going too fast. He's going on down there. Anyway, um, so making a list of things we do and don't need um, for the new, for the RV, if we purchase one or the next rental or whatever the case may be. We didn't get to tube today. We're hoping we'll get to go again in the morning. We don't know. Um, it's supposed to rain again later on. It never got above like 80 some odd or low 80 degrees today. And like I said, the water's pretty cold and nobody was down there and it is just not safe to participate in water activities in, in an open body of water that's swiftly moving by yourself. It's, it's just not, you know, it's been so nice. So, so, so nice. We've just relaxed. We haven't done that in a long time. So it was good to just relax. See you in a minute. It is our last day. We are heading down for him, I know, for him to get in the water. It's 10.04 a.m., 84 degrees outside. I Check watched, out is noon, so. Yeah, the 3rd of September. Watch up. Yep. Um, it's, just not, it's just not safe for us both to get in the water when there's nobody else down here. And there's nobody else down here, but I didn't want us to leave without him having the opportunity to tube at least a few times. Ooh, water's looking like it's moving a little swifter today. A little more swiftly, swift, oh, whatever. This is not a grammar channel. So he'll get in here, he'll tube down a little bit and there's a little exit point down the way a bit. And I'll probably go down there, and watch him coming in. Nice, first try. Don't fall out, don't fall out. <laughs> yes. This is not a stable spot for me. Oh man, you don't want to go that way. It took him the wrong way. <laughs> That sucks. <laughs> Didn't quite work out the way you planned, did it? What? I said it didn't quite work out the way you planned, did it? No. It did.
it was lots of fun. Yeah. Can't wait to come back when all this is over with and we can yeah. do the full. Full river. Yeah. Yeah, really get in and get out and take the shuttle back and <laughs> because it's like four miles that you can go and it ends at Texas State. I just said Stephen F. Austin, that's not right. So as we're about to head out, I like to put away absolutely everything, um, like cupware, like washed this morning, everything snug in the cabinets. Remember, these are glass, so you need to be aware of that. And then the soap and everything like that, close it. And I always put it down, well, I always, I am, am putting it down in the sink. And these are some extra chips we will put we have strapped the chairs in. I will put this over there with the empty trash can. And uh, ready to go. Okay, so the gentleman who was here earlier, when we first got here, explained that even though we're, we have full hookups, we should leave our black and gray tanks closed and just empty them every day or so. And that's what we've been doing. So he says you open your black tank first, let it clear, and then you open your gray tank to flush everything out and down the line into the sewer. So that's what we're going to do. Don't forget to take off your stabilizers. stairs up and then next we raise the thingies <laughs> off Put them off and then unhook there we go oh I Good visual inspection. Everything's in. Let's go. already it's the next day actually it's Friday the 4th of September we did arrive home the 3rd um, as soon as we got home we unloaded the camper as quickly as we could so we could get it back to the dealer where we rented it from technically it wasn't due back until today but we had to return to work today so we couldn't keep it the extra day um, and it's almost a good thing well it's probably very much a good thing that we didn't stay not that there was anything that happened but a very severe thunderstorm hit 
the trailer or the camper park RV park where we were staying so no damage nothing like that it just I would have been terrified it was a lightning storm a severe thunderstorm they had 40 mile per hour winds and you know <laughs> I don't know I did say I wanted to experience rain in the trailer just because I wanted to see what that was like but I gotta tell you I don't think I would have enjoyed it I probably would have gone in jumped in the truck uh, where I knew I was grounded from lightning and things like that so <laughs> I just would have rather have been safe than sorry, but there you go. It did rain while we were in the camper this weekend, this week, but uh, we were always away from the camper when it happened, so I didn't get to experience that. There you go. Next time. There will definitely be a next time. We are going to rent another time where we end up, where we go. I don't know. We do have some spots in mind. At this point in time, we're looking at October. However, we're not 100% sure October this year. Uh, when we'll go so stay tuned so be sure to subscribe so you can catch our next adventure uh, this adventure we, we had rain so we didn't get to get in the river as much as we wanted during COVID and then of course during the week people weren't in there as much as they were on the weekend so we really would like to go back to be able to do some more tubing and experience the river a little bit more we did find some more spots to do just that so where we end up we will see all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of a series on renting an RV, what you need, what you don't need, that kind of thing, packing your RV for with a rental, uh, things like that. So watch for those videos coming up. Thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe before you go, and we will see you next time. Bye.